Hi, this is Leif from Leif Labs, and this is another video in the series of doing physics with Arduino. So now we're going to investigate RC and uh, basically resistors and capacitors together and how they work and see how you can use the Arduino, even as primitive as is, to do some pretty interesting analog physics. So this is the circuit that we're going to have. We're going to have a digital output. Again, the Arduino has digital outputs and analog inputs. It also has digital inputs, but it doesn't have analog outputs. So we're going to make do with what we have. This thing is digital out, which means it either puts out zero volts or five volts. It's going to go through a 10 kilo ohm resistor. And then there's going to be a capacitor here, which is going to be a 10 microfarad capacitor. And that's going to go into the A to D converter. So this is what the this is what the resistor looks like. 10 kilo ohm resistor is brown, black, orange. So this is a good time to learn the resistor color code. Learn it, know it, love it. It is your friend. This is what a capacitor looks like. There's actually a ton of different ways a capacitor might look. This is a ceramic capacitor that's 10 microfarads. And it's both of these devices are designed to fit in a solderless breadboard, which we see here. This is the Arduino connected up to that circuit using these jumper wires. So one of the things that you need to have for this experiment is some sort of wire uh, supply of short wires which can be used to plug into the solderless breadboard and you need the solderless breadboard. So connect up this schematic into here. So then what you're gonna do is load up this program onto the Arduino. So in the same as before, what you're gonna do is copy this code and I'm gonna put the code in the description of the video so you can copy paste it or I might put in a paste bin, you can copy paste from there. So take this code, put it in. What is this code doing? Well, it's reading the analog voltage, and then it's got this threshold where um, it's looking at the value of the voltage and comparing it to the halfway point, 512. So just, just to kind of uh, describe how these numbers are working, the analog to digital converter takes numbers, it, it takes voltages between zero and five volts and connects them to numbers between zero and 1023. So 512 is basically the halfway point or two and a half volts. So then there's this delta X of 200. And then what it does is whenever X gets to be, and that X is the voltage, whenever that gets to be the midpoint of two and a half volts plus this number uh, of 200 units, uh, or minus, then that's a threshold that triggers the change in the digital output. So what that does can be shown with this uh, cartoon here, where you see that I put the digital to 5 volts, and what's going to happen is you're going to have this RC build up as you charge the capacitor. When it hits the threshold, pop, it goes to zero, but the voltage doesn't go to zero instantly because you have to discharge the capacitor. So now there's this exponential decay, and then it goes up and down and up. And if you're a student in a physics class, you should be able to calculate basically this whole thing. Just from your understanding of how RC circuits work, you can work out the equations and uh, see how this fits together. And then what you can do is play around with the thresholding. But let's take a look at how this actually works. So here's our circuit. Yes. So it kind of looks like a triangle wave or a sawtooth wave. It's not really exactly a sawtooth because there's some curvature, but there's not a ton of curvature. And so what's happening and why are we doing this? Well, first of all, you can say, oh, look, I know how to charge a capacitor and discharge it. That's fine. But what we're really doing is building both a measure of resistance and a measure of capacitance. So if I were to either fix R and then measure C, or fix C and measure R, then I can get from the frequency, I can deduce what R and C are. But there's more because this isn't just an individual measurement of R or C. What I'm doing is sweeping the voltage here. So there's actually a ton of physics you can get at with certain nonlinear devices by connecting this. And those are gonna be in future videos. So, but for now, basically what you can see is just how to charge a capacitor and discharge it and how easy that is to do with an Arduino, even though you don't have a true analog output. You have a digital output, an analog input, but you can see this analog effect. So I'm just showing this on the plotter that comes with the Arduino software, but this is being streamed down the serial. So uh, if you're the sort of person who knows how to do that kind of thing, you can use uh, an IPython notebook or Jupyter notebook or whatever they're called now and 
stream the serial data into your Python notebook and then plot it and then do all the physics uh, kind of fitting and curve comparison that you might want to do there. Um, so go do that now if that's your sort of thing. Thank you for listening. Like and subscribe.